everybody. Today we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour. Yay! I have really wanted to make this video for a really long time um, with several different sketchbooks, but this one I have actually finished and I'm very proud of it. So I'm really excited to share it with everybody. This is a Mossery sketchbook um, in the watercolor paper and this sketchbook has got a little cat on it. And um, I really, really like this sketchbook. Um, I won't go into too much detail about like a review or whatever, but if you want a review on it, let me know. I can do that. Um, but for now, we'll, we'll just uh, start looking at it. I got this, um, I want to say May. Um, so it's been a few, it, it's been a minute. It's been a few months. Um, I haven't filled out like any of the inside pages. Um, I wish I was the type of person that did that, but I'm just really not, like, all this information and all the, like, goals and stuff, like, that's really cute, and I actually really appreciate that it's in there, but I'm just not, I'm just not the type of person that puts that stuff in. But I did put in, um, a couple little, like, business cards and things of, um, I went to one convention in the time span that I've had this, um, it was Base Little Fur Con, um, and, uh, I saw a couple people there that had awesome business cards that I wanted to take home and um, this one actually was from an online order but this one was at BLFC and I just really like them and I'm always making new business cards for myself I, I have like tons of them um, so any inspiration I can get for a new business card I love to see it um, I, I really want to do a pattern like this eventually on one of my cards um, so also, oh, also I am not only the person that doesn't fill out things in the front of the sketchbook, but I'm also the type of person that goes backwards <laughs> in my sketchbook. So I, this is not in any chronological order really. I jump around pretty much as much as possible because I have a lot of first page anxiety and um, I don't think a sketchbook should be full of anxiety. So if I want to start in the middle, I'm gonna. Um, so this is not one of the first drawings I did in here. This is one of the last. I did this a couple days ago. Um, I was really, really inspired by something I saw on Tumblr of something like this. It was like inside a space pod and it had all these like cluttery little drawings. And so I was trying to think about if I were to go in a space pod right now, what would I bring with me? Um, and what would be most important for me to have there? Um, so I've got like these little bat lights in my room, um, my stuffed bunny, my comforter, my favorite comforter, um, a lot of my little like toys and like uh, candles and stuff like that, lamps. Um, yeah, I really, really like how this one came out. Um, this was one of those ones where like, <laughs> you know, the, the sketch is really good and you like the sketch and then you start painting it and then you're like, oh God, I've ruined the entire thing. And then at the end you add on the little like white details and stuff and you're like, oh, actually that's really nice. <laughs> so it was kind of a roller coaster. Um, but yeah, that's one of the first drawings, or one of the last, one of the last drawings in this book. Um, this, by comparison, is one of the first. Um, this was like the first thing that I painted in this sketchbook. Um, I got it and I was really, this was heavily inspired by, um, Lee Ellickson on YouTube. I love, love, love her work. And she does all this great things with blobs and colors and stuff like that. Um, I don't think I've quite got her. I wasn't trying to copy her style or anything, but I was emulating her use of color, definitely. Um, and I don't, I don't have it down that well. <laughs> but this is only the first, only the first try. I'm gonna try again. Um, these were I was thinking about doing the one marker challenge. Um, so I did a little test on myself, and I picked the yellow one, which is one of my favorite ones. Um, my these are alcohol markers, but they are not Copics. I use um, Le Plume. Copy, Le Plume alcohol markers. Um, I have never heard anybody talk about them ever, um, but I got them from a uh, the on-campus bookstore in my hometown, um, and I really, really like them. They are not double-sided. They're just regular brush mark, alcohol brush markers. I really like them. Um, but I, if you want a full review on those, also let me know. I can do that. Um, <laughs> I see I was like planning out a possible um, one marker sketch. Didn't really like that one. Um, this one, it's upside down, I know, but uh, <laughs> it's like a lady and she's got the sun and stuff. 
Um, I never ended up doing it, but I might. If you want to see that video, let me know. Um, again, this is like, <laughs> I did these like this week. Um, this was an, uh, sketching out of an illustration that I kind of had planned of like the inside of I have these characters who like to go camping a lot and I think that they um, probably camp inside one of the guys' trucks um, so if you can see there's like pillows and a mattress and like the back seats are folded down and fences um, this is just a sketch it didn't go like I didn't do a full illustration of this yet maybe I will um, but I actually think that this would be better executed by somebody else but I want it done so I'm probably gonna commission it from somebody um, this was, I had, um, I had breakfast that I thought was especially delicious, so I decided to draw it. It's, um, every time I tell people this, they think it's so gross, but I promise you, it's delicious. It's, um, English muffins with butter, like, you know, toasted English muffins, butter, cream cheese, and bacon. That's all it is. It's delicious. And then with peaches on the side. Um, that's what I have for breakfast most mornings, actually. Um, because I love it. It's delicious. And I just wanted to draw what I had for breakfast this morning. Um, this is, okay, here's some little sketches for the space pod thing. Um, I was trying to figure out the angle of, and how zoomed in on the bed that I wanted to do. And so this one's pretty close to what I did. I just kind of magnified it a little bit. This was um, also one of the first things I did. Chloe. Um, this is one of the first things I did in the sketchbook um, badge practice. Uh, it was right around the time I was going to Biggest Little Furk on. So I was making badges, um, and this is with Posca pens. This is actually with gouache, but the pink is with Posca pens. And his name's Chloe, so we're practicing, practicing with the Posca pens. Um, so this is when I got the sketchbook, and then this is a couple days ago. Um, they're of the same character. This is like his regular form, you know, like his human form or whatever. Um, yeah, his name's Sean. Um, he's got a snake. And I don't, I don't like this one as much. I really, really like this one. This one is with alcohol markers, with the lip bloom alcohol markers. And then this one is with my watercolors. Um, my watercolors are, um, Gansai Tombies. Uh, Gansai Tombies, and I also use Savoir Faire, um, gouache. And then I just, like, really, really water it down and use it as water watercolors. Um, yeah. So I have a set of gouache. I don't often use them as gouache. I usually just use them as watercolors since they're essentially the same thing. Um, but yeah, this is alcohol markers, watercolors, watercolors. This was this was with all of my concept zombies. I think that was more than one. Um, this is, so this was also one of like, on that first like month in May that I got this sketchbook, I did this page, it was like the end, it was like the end of May, um, around Memorial Day, and I was like, oh no, I didn't do anything for Mermaid. Um, <laughs> so I did actually end up doing a like digital drawing of something for Mermaid, but I, I really wanted to do something a little painty for Mermaid. So I really quickly designed up these two characters. Uh, they don't have names or anything, they're just two guys, um, and this braid specific, I really wanted to do something with, um, like, the longer haired one having a braid with an intertwined lock of his hair. Um, I watched, I think that was around the time I saw Ragnarok for the first time, and there's, like, there were all these posts going around on Tumblr about, like, Thor having a lock of Loki's hair, like, intertwined in his hair. Um, not, not that I ship <laughs> Thorky, please. I just realized that made it sound like I said that I ship them, but I don't. I really, really don't. Um, uh, <laughs> I thought that the intertwining of the hair was like really, really cute, not in the context of Thorky. Please, please, no. Um, but in this context of mermaids doing it together, I thought it was really, really cute. Um, and then I came back like probably earlier this month. It's well, September now, so it was probably early, early August. I came back and did this. Um, and then this is a little fold-out piece. It's covering something I don't like. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was just like a little bit more development of him. Um, hey, Ryan, happy coffee. Um, and him, I was thinking more of like a koi or something flowy. And then for this guy, I was thinking more. I 
I drew this body shape. I don't really like this body shape, but I like the spiky fins. So I think he's more tuner based, whereas he is more like koi based possibly, though I, that's a freshwater fish and stuff like fish. So. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, so this guy is interesting. Um, he's new. Um, he doesn't have a name or anything yet, and he's entirely developed in this sketchbook, so you'll see a lot of him coming up. Um, but uh, he is specifically inspired by the Marty Robbins song, um, The Master's Call, which is one of my favorite Robbie Martins. <laughs> one of my favorite Marty Robbins songs. Um, and he is, uh, my essential idea for him was that he's like a, an outlaw, a cowboy, and then he, I'm thinking some kind of like desolate wasteland atmosphere, kind of fallout inspired. Um, he finds this cross while he's out, a crossless rosary, while he's out scavenging. He doesn't really know where it is. It's the apocalypse. Who knows what God is anymore? Um, and then after he gets it, he starts, like, seeing things. And he starts, like, experiencing really weird, um, like, spiritual things. Um, I'm, <laughs> the, I, I realized, um, while I was doing a, like, uh, like a trial run of this video that, um, this sketchbook really makes me look like I'm religious. I'm really not. Um, I just often am expired, inspired by things that are religious or by um, stories from the Bible, even though I don't read it, and I'm not religious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I promise. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's him. He comes back. So this was like his first sketches that I did in May. Um, I was like listening to that song and it just like hit me. I was like, I have to make a character for this. Um, and then I sketched out these things on this page and it wasn't easy. I was like really struggling with like his face shape and like what he should look like. And here he doesn't have a beard, but here he does have a goatee and then here is a beard. It's like, this page comes later. But this, I was really, really struggling with this design. Um, and then um, I'll talk more about that when I get to his more final working throughs. Um, Here's a Halo page. <laughs> if you follow my Tumblr, you know I'm a Halo guy. I love Halo. Um, and I love Chief, and I think he's real cute. This I did on um, a ferry ride on a boat when I was heading back up to Victoria from um, California. Um, and then when I was sitting at my desk in Victoria, I so the Monster Radio notebook comes with like a it comes with like a little strap on it so you can like bookmark your page which I never use so it just kind of like hangs off of my sketchbook and then it got it like fell into my paint this is really embarrassing but it like fell into my paints and like sat there for like a really long time and got like soaking soaking wet and then I like went to like close the book after doing this page and it just like it just like swiped across the entire page um and then so I cut it off because I was like, fuck this, I don't even use it. Um, so I cut it off, but not without some damage to poor Chief. Um, but yeah, this has something under it, but I don't like it, so I covered it with this um, clipping from another sketchbook of um, a print that I possibly want to do. Um, I kind of went a different direction with it, um, but this was like the first sketch for a print. Um, it says Mary Energy Sword Sunday on it. I think that's so funny. I still really want to do this. Um, here's a like a sticky note with chief on it and here's a picture of him and I don't I don't like drawing his face um I have drawn his face publicly like on my tumblr and stuff a couple times but I don't like doing it um because I think that he should be um everybody's personal representation and I don't like giving him a face um but I, I don't like drawing from white either but anyway um <laughs> um that's chief um, so these are some charcoal drawings that I did. Um, if you don't know, I went on a archaeological dig through my school, um, because I'm an archaeology major. And, um, so we went out camping for six weeks and we were digging and we were doing field work and stuff like that. And so while we were out in the field camping, we had a lot of campfires and campfires make charcoal. So I was doing some charcoal drawings, um, at the camp. Um, this was like one of the first days we were there, Thursday. Um, some little, some little branchy bits. Some more little branchy bits. Um, and then this is the view from our camp. Um, this is kind of a shitty drawing, sorry. <laughs> but this is like the dock and then the, the pylon on the dock and then the view of the opposite island from our, from our camp. Um, because our camp was like on an island here and then across the water was another island. Um, 
And then I don't put anything on the other pages because charcoal smudges, obviously, and because this is a ring um, sketchbook, it creates a lot of friction between the pages. So it, as you can see here, it like smudges quite a lot, so I didn't want to put anything on either of the other sides. Um, so this is, these are both character design pages. Um, this one is the older one, so I'll start with this. Um, I drew this guy. Here, let me turn it for you. I drew this guy, and then I was really feeling centaurs, so I drew him, and then um, I was, and then I moved up here, and I was thinking a little bit more about what he would look like, and then I drew something here, and then I covered it up, <laughs> and then drew something on top of it. Um, and then I realized halfway through drawing this guy that. Um, I have a centaur character already that I totally forgot about. His name is Austin, um, and so then I started drawing Austin. <laughs> so these these two are just Austin. This is like a different centaur guy, but it's kind of the same because I was I was thinking of Austin, but I didn't know I was thinking of Austin. You know, um, this is my Gunsai Tommy paints, and then this is more alcohol markers. Um, this is a character design I thought of um, while I was actually I was on the airplane flying um, back to Victoria um, from my hometown. Um, I was thinking a lot about um, manta rays and like uh, ray characters and stuff and there, if you don't know, there are these um, fish called skates, which are, um, they're like basically rays, they're just like really small, um, but they're called skates and um, I had the like brain blast idea on the airplane of um, making a skate character who skates. <laughs> I thought that was so, so funny. Um, and so they're actually under this there are a lot of um, sketches of him and I don't like any of them <laughs> I really really hated how all of them were turning out um, so I took out another piece of paper like from this is um, toned blue paper that I got at a bookstore um, I think it's Strathmore toned blue paper it's really really thick and nice um, but anyway and I drew this on it and I really like it and then I um, put like a um, really light lavender wash um, um, of alcohol marker um, around him to just like kind of separate it and then I white outlined some stuff and I did this with watercolors um, and I like this design more than where I was going under these there are a lot of places of things being covered up in this sketchbook um, um, towards the end I really really tried to not do that as much um, I really really tried to let you guys see my failures um, because it's really important that um, we all fail and we all draw, like part of drawing is just drawing things that suck and this is a part of drawing. Um, but sometimes I just get real embarrassed and I do not, and I knew I was going to be filming this sketchbook tour so there were a lot of instances where I covered things up. Um, so sorry in advance, it's just anxiety got the better of me. Um, this is another one of those weirdly religious drawings that I was talking about. Um, this was inspired by, um, specifically by the Dolly Parton song, um, Coat of Many Colors, which is actually a story based on a biblical story of Joseph and the Tiger Claw Green Coat. And so after I was listening to that Dolly Parton song, I remembered the animated, um, Joseph movie, Joseph and the King of Dreams, which came out, like, after the Prince of Egypt. And I love Prince of Egypt, and I love Joseph, King of Dreams. Um, so I was listening to King of Dreams soundtrack, and there's a really, really good song called, um, You Know Better Than I, which is about God. Um, which I don't really care about the subject matter of the song, but it's a really, really beautiful song. <laughs> so I was really inspired by Dolly Parton and by that song, and so I drew this Joseph guy. Um, I drew a Joseph um, with his rainbow coat. Um, I really, really like this illustration. I don't like the face so much, but I like this part. It's really nice. Um, this is my a couple of my characters. Um, <laughs> he is an... Um, this is Dag. He is a Neanderthal. Um, no Neanderthal, I'd say. And um, this is Rack, who is a homo an anatomically modern homo sapien. Um, so I actually drew this one out in the field. We weren't working on Neanderthal stuff on my dig, um, but I will be <laughs> soon. Um, but um, I was just really, we were looking at like Paleolithic stuff. Oh, shit, I keep bumping the plane. <laughs> um, we were looking at like Paleolithic stuff, and that's the stuff that I like. And so I was really inspired to draw them. So I drew this actually out. <laughs> I'm sitting out on the island, um, out on the point, painting um, with a couple friends. And so I painted them. And then when I got home, I drew them again. Um, this was with when I first got my new set of alcohol markers, um, the La Plumes. And then actually the skin tone is a Prismacolor. I don't really care for Prismacolor pens, um, but 
have a couple of them. <laughs> and um, it's a nice skin tone on him. I don't like that so much. And then this one I don't really like as much. Um, I used to hate it a lot more, actually, but um, for the longest time his, like, eyebrows were co colored in. And, like, I don't know why I didn't color them in, but I, like, really, really, really hated this drawing. Like, I, I liked the face, but I really hated his hair and just, like, everything else about it. And the coloring, I just, like, really hated it. Um, and then <laughs> I was doing some touch-ups on some stuff, and I came back, and I was like, why aren't his eyebrows colored in? And I colored them in, and I love it a lot more. <laughs> so, if you're struggling with the coloring of an illustration, try coloring in eyebrows. It helps quite a lot. <laughs> so, that was weird. Um, this one is, um, I was back home at my hometown, and I was having a little bit of a moment. Um, I was just having, like, a really self-angsty moment with myself um but I was wearing a really cute outfit and it was really really hot so I was sad it was really hot I was wearing a really cute outfit um so there were a lot of emotions going on um so I drew that and then I drew some more um uh yeah just some kind of angsty self-portrait this was also one of the first things I drew with my alcohol markers um when I got them um so yeah <laughs> I don't really want to talk about that anymore so I'm not gonna um, here's a page. Um, this is a character that I have. Um, his name is Jericho. Um, Co for short. K-O. And, um, he's a character I share- I don't share him, but we share a universe, um, with my boyfriend. Um, and we have- um, he has a matching character and boyfriends, and, um, sorry, I don't know what my name is. <laughs> That would have been scary. Um, sorry. Anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, this was also one of the thing, first things I did with my, like, on that same day I got my alcohol markers. Um, I like this one up until about here. <laughs> I made his hair a little too much. Um, and then this is covering up something that's about to look at. Um, <laughs> and then these two are just more of the alcohol markers. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this page at all. This is another one of those things where it was just like a really, really failed painting, um, and I was gonna cover it up. I was like, fuck this, I'm gonna cover it up. Um, and then I didn't for you guys. I left it there for you guys to see the painting that I hate. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know if you want to see my horrible paintings, but I did it anyway, and I hate it. So. Um, and then this one, this is a, another character I have named Gun. Um, he's just green and has really big teeth. I love him. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is Rhett and Bailey. They make a comeback a little bit later, I think, in the sketchbook. Maybe. Yeah, Rhett comes back a little bit later. Um, anyway, um, I had this, like, great idea in my head of, like, them sleeping together, and it was gonna be so cute, and then uh, the sketch was really cute, and it was coming out good, and then I started painting it, and then it just, it didn't work. It just, the whole thing is bad. <laughs> it's just really bad. It's just bad. Um, so here is this same guy again. Um, if you remember, where is he? There he is, this guy. Um, here is when I started thinking about him again. I was actually, really funny story, I was in the shower and I, <laughs> I had to go to like a volunteer, th I volunteer on another archeological dig and so I had to like hurry, I was like, I had a schedule where I was like, okay, I'm gonna shower, then I'm gonna eat breakfast, then I'm gonna go to catch the bus to go to this thing. And so I was in the shower and then it, mid shower I just suddenly had an idea of what I wanted to do with him and like how I wanted to change him and how I wanted him to be better and so I like I jumped out of the shower and like I was still in my towel and I was like furiously at my desk painting um painting and drawing this um because I just like I, I didn't eat breakfast I like painted this out and then I ran to catch the bus because I just like I couldn't not do it right then you know I just had like a blast of inspiration um so I figured out how I wanted to change his hair, I wanted to definitely give him a beard, and I wanted to give him like a scar, I think you can see it here, um, and then definitely here, and then I wanted to give him a ton of tattoos. Um, so there's this snake and knife thing that comes back several times in the sketchbook when I'm trying to think about more of how I want it to look on him, and I think I want it to be here, but I like the barbed wire thing, it's like, it's still quite undecided, I'm not, I'm not solid on it yet, but I definitely, you'll see a finalized version of the snake and the sword, or the dagger. Um, and so, yeah, that was really, like, I just, it just hit me, um, the way that I wanted to draw him. Um, and I always like it when that happens, because 
and it usually ends up successful and I think this page is I like this page a lot it's really really sketchy but I, I really like it it's a working page I like it um yeah anyway so and then this this is covering up something um and then this is covering up a bad snake ah, evil <laughs> um but yeah so I was I was trying to think about what what are the main um things what are the main iconography iconographic things that I want in these tattoos and I want a new snake a dagger and then possibly an eagle um and then maybe some roses and some blood and stuff like that um so I, was, I mapped these things out of like shapes and what I definitely want in there um these were some sketches of people I saw at the airport you know flying home so after my archaeological dig then I went home for a week to my hometown and then um then I flew back to Victoria where I go to school um and so um these were some um, sketches of people I saw at the airport um, while I was like eating lunch um, and then here's another snake and then um, yeah so here's Rhett again he's, he's a hick he's a hick um, here's one I love I like this one I like his little dimples in here too and then there's Bailey also that doesn't get colored it's just Bailey um, and then this is a um, study page I was trying to um, cartoonify um, sunfish are some of my favorite favorite fishes. I love them. Um, so I drew like from a photo reference and then I like cartoonified it a little bit more and then I cartoonified it a little bit more and then some like little some little fishy kind of heart fishy. Um, yeah, I like all of these actually. I think they're all really nice and I like them. And it's really you can see the clear process of like complex to simple, which I really like. Um, and then just up here I was like. I was at the store buying some more um, markers. These are actually Copics. Oh my gosh, Copics in Canada are nine fifty each, which is an absurd amount um, because I already hate paying five dollars for them in the states. Um, so when I come here, I have to pay nine dollars for them, and I really, really hate it. I um, I hate it so much. But so I was like testing out all these grays, um, seeing which one I wanted the most because I was only gonna buy like two. Um, so I had to like decide which ones I wanted. Um, and then um, here he's back again. Um, so you can see I was I was really thinking about his body and I was thinking about what clothes he wears and the blood and the kind of gore aspect of it. And here I was, you can see this entire page is just devoted to me planning out the, the sword or the, the dagger and the snake. And then there's these pink ones, which you can't see very well, um, were the beginning sketches, and then the, the, the purple ones on top, and then this was the last one I did, the last sketch I did, um, of the snake. And I kind of settled on the noose being around the snake's neck. And then this is the final. Um, so this is what I want his tattoo to look like. I think it goes probably on his arm or on his shoulder or something, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but see, it's got the blood and the noose and the cross. Um, so... Yeah, and then this up here is kind of his, like, some more of hearkening back to that uh, sticky note with the, like, the dagger and the sword, or the dagger and the um, noose and the snake on it. Um, I was just drawing some things that pertain to him, like his rosary, um, some bullet casings, and the dagger. Um, so those are, like, some things. If you were to look at his desk or something, those would be some things that are on the desk. Um, this is a page that I hate. I absolutely hate this page. Um, and I almost covered, this is another one of the ones that I almost covered up, and I was like, no, Kevin, let yourself see the mistakes, and let other people see the mistakes. Um, so, uh, as you remember, a couple pages ago, I was testing out markers, which I was going to buy, and then I came and um, tried to draw something with them. This is nobody, it's just a drawing. Um, and it just, like, came out real bad. I just really, really hate this drawing. Um, and then I was like, that day I was like I really really want to draw something I feel passionately about I want to draw something um but everything I was drawing was just like not turning out everything was just like real bad and nothing was working and so a lot of times when that happens what I do is I do the blob test which is basically you just like paint or color in a blob and then you try to draw something over top of it and so I really wanted to draw people so I was doing little short mini character designs these aren't designs for anything that I'm keeping or anything like that they're just um blob designs um but so like this yellow one I was automatically really inspired by this shape to be like a big old grumpy guy with a nose and yeah I like these 
Um, they definitely helped. I'm not in love with them. And then these, obviously, I was going to do some more blob tests. And then um, halfway through painting the blue one, I um, realized I remembered, actually, that I had pink markers. And I love the color pink. And I've been drawing this character a couple times, um, my first on Tumblr and stuff, that he's really, he's not so much a character as just an excuse to draw this hairstyle. Um, and actually this hairstyle is entirely because I was watching um, Franard's video on YouTube. If you know her, she's an excellent, excellent, excellent um, art YouTuber. I love her. Um, and she has this awesome hairstyle with like the little, the little bun that I love, I love, love, I love seeing her draw herself like that, and I love seeing her in that haircut, and I love that haircut, um, so I really just wanted a guy to draw with that hair, that's, that's his entire existence, is just to be able to draw hair like that, um, <laughs> so, when I drew that one, and I was like, uh, I like that I drew him, but I hate how sucky that this drawing is, <laughs> so I went back and drew some more. I already drew him again with the pink hair, because, um, if you see in this one, I started with the blush pink, the really, really light pink, and then I went to dark, and that didn't, that just, it was, the darks were too dark, and the light was too light. Um, so I went back and I started with the medium tone, and then I went to the dark, and I added, or left some white space, and then put over the light on top of it. And that one came out better. It's better. It's not, it, I don't love it. But this one I really, really like. As you can see, you can, I really love how clear you can see, like, this was my first one. It sucks really bad. <laughs> oh, no, we're not there yet. Um, this is my second one. It sucks less, but it's still pretty bad. This is my third one. I really like it. I like this drawing. I changed up the color of his hair because I was thinking he would have like all sorts of colored hair. He would have pink or yellow or blue or stuff like that. Um, and then, <laughs> but then I was thinking to myself, probably not green. Um, he's probably the kind of guy who thinks green hair is like swamp hair. Hates it. Hates it on himself. Um, but yeah, I really, I like this one a lot more. Um, this one was because there is a song that I was listening to a ton um, called um, burning bridges or bridges burning or something from wild child and i was just like really really inspired by that song um i knew i wanted to make a painting for it that day when i was listening to it um i don't think that this painting really reflects the song that much i wish i had done more i wish i had like pushed myself more to be more reflective of the song or just more of really what i was feeling when i listened to that song but um but this painting is okay it's it's going back to the other self-portraits i did a while ago um it's okay i don't um, okay, so this page, um, oops, um, <laughs> um, this is, uh, sorry, just really, really weird noise. Um, anyway, this is a house that I saw when I was on the bus, um, going to, um, I was actually coming home from a job interview, and I saw this house, and I, I posted, um, this on Tumblr and Twitter and stuff like that, so... Um, you've probably seen this drawing already, but, um, it's just like a really gorgeous house that I saw while I was on the bus and I knew what street I was on. And so when I got home, um, I just like went on Google earth and I went to the street and I just like went down the street on Google. I just like went down on the street on Google earth until I, earth until I found the house and then I painted it. Um, and then this is a small watercolor painting of a guy that if you follow my Tumblr or any, me anywhere, <laughs> Actually, you will know by now. Um, he is just—he's just a guy I like drawing. He's just a little—he's just, just a, uh, a guy, a real good guy. Um, there's some more of him coming up in a second, um, but it when this wouldn't fit on the other page, um, so I had to add him in here. Um, but this is watercolor, and then I was like testing out all of my mediums that I had with this new paper that I got. Um, and so I was testing out which medium is best on this paper. Um, so that one was watercolor, this one is Posca, this one is alcohol, and then this one is watercolor pencils. So I dip the pencils in water and then like color with it. And I think this one came out the best. I really like how this felt on this paper. This one, I like the final drawing, but actually this one is um, the backside of it. Like I drew on it, him facing the other way. And then um, I was like, oh, this kind of not turning out great. And then I flipped it over and it looked better on the opposite side. Um, so then I finished up the opposite side of it. Um, but this one just came out like it went on really smoothly and it just came out really nice. This one, um, the Posca pens, if you've ever seen one, they're like really thick and um, they have a really um, scratchy texture to them. Um, so like it would, this paper is really, really thin and like 
pulpy, um, so it was tearing up the pulp of this paper. Um, so yeah, so I didn't I didn't like how, how the Posca pen worked on this. This is another page that's covering up something. Um, I painted it like two days ago, and I spent like all of yesterday hating the page so so much. I hated it so so much, and then I painted all these little things on like another in another sketchbook um, on like a piece of paper of it that I tore out. And then um, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to trim them up and put them in this page because I just, I can't even look at that page anymore. It was driving me mad how much I hated it. Um, and then this, <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> if you've seen that anime, Cells at Work, um, I watched a few episodes of it yesterday, or no, two days ago or something. Um, and I just wanted to, I just wanted to paint him because he's cute. <laughs> I like him. He really reminds me of Ginkgo from um, Mushishi, if you've seen that anime. Mushishi. Um, just because he's got, like, the hair covering the other side. He's just really cute. I like him. <laughs> um, and he's a white, he's a white blood cell. Um, and then this is the last page. Um, and this last page is this girl, um, she's also less of a character and more of an excuse to draw cute hair and cute outfits and stuff, just like that other guy. Um, but this was made using that, like, there's, like, this app going around right now called, like, Pastel Girl or something, and it's just, like, a little dressmaker, like, a little, um, character dress dress up game and you like design a little girl you like design a girl and like um, her outfit and stuff like that and I designed this one girl and she was so so cute and I drew her on digitally first actually so if you follow my twitter or a tumblr you've seen her um but I drew her some more and I think my idea for her is that she's really sad all the time she dresses all pretty and cute but she's really sad so she's always got this really like listless look on her face and she's always just like oh. But she dresses like rainbows and glitters and sparkles and pretty colors and stuff like that. So, and then up here I was just like swatching all of my marker, all of my pink and blue and brown markers to see which ones would go best with her. Um, this looks a lot darker in person than it does on camera, um, and so I feel like this brown is too dark. But actually, it's not. It's not that bad. Um, like when I first put it down, it you know it like takes a second to dry, so it's like really really dark um, when you first put it down, and then you like lift it up and it dries and it's a lot lighter so now that it's had like a day to dry it looks a lot better um and then it definitely stands out more with like i'm not sure if you can tell but this um outline on it is not black it's just like really dark um teal blue and i think it really it makes it pop a lot better um yeah um so then and then i guess i'll show you this stuff too um this is just like a little pocket um, in the back of the book, this is my business, my current business card. I have more in the mail right now, actually. Um, more metallic. This is Toucan Burger. Um, this is my business card right now. And then in here, these are some stickers I got um, at a clothing store here in town. Um, they were selling like uh, um, like local made stickers. Um, I bought this one and because <laughs> I thought it was so cute. And then I took it home and I realized that it's just like the same sticker facing backwards. Like, I wish I had gotten some of the other sets so I didn't just get two of the exact same sticker, but they are really cute. Um, this is an exotic wall sticker um, that I got from um, the bookstore in my hometown, the like um, campus bookstore, that's UC Davis bookstore. Um, it didn't have any artist information on it or I would have kept it, um, but yeah. And then this is also from that same store with like a bat. Um, and then this is a painting of Chief that I did. I really, er, er, painting. It's with Posca pens, so it's not really a painting. But, um, it's like me. They can't mark it. Anyway, Chief. Um, and then this was also, I was, like, really, really proud of this drawing, and I really, really loved it, and then I was gonna have it, like, on my table, like, when the next convention I do, which is probably in February, um, I was gonna do, like, I was gonna have him up for sale, maybe, or something, or just, like, have him on display, and then disaster struck. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, um, the cord that I was telling you about earlier with, like, it, it sat in the paint for a while, a long time, and then it was soaked in paint, and then it, like, got all over my shit. It got all over this. It, like, bleh, like, right over the front of it. I was so devastated, and there's absolutely no way I can fix it, and, because this is that toned blue paper. Um, it's really thick, and so the paint is, like, if you can see on the edge, it's, like, soaked into the, into the paper, so there's, like, absolutely nothing I can do about it. It's just, like, there. And so I can't sell this. It's that would I can't sell this. <laughs> um, that would be wrong.
with me because that was a totally fucked up one. But I, I'm, I do not want to do another one because this was, it took me a long time and um, I don't feel like doing another one. So it's just sitting in the back of my sketchbook because it makes me sad. <laughs> um, I still really like it. It's just really sad that it's been damaged. Um, but yeah, that that's that's it. That's my let's see where I don't kind of um anyway that's it. That's my that's my sketchbook. So um thank you so much you guys for watching. Um if you want to see more of these, if you want to see another one of my next sketchbook, please, please, please like, comment, say say your thoughts about it. Um, I would love to keep doing these um, with my next sketchbook and in the future, and then if you want me to do any reviews um, on any of my markers or the sketchbook or anything like that, please just let me know. I would love to. Um, so until then, <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys! Bye!